Welcome back, super soldiers. That's Get right. those steroids and put on those helmets, because we're riding the train. <gasps> Every first-person shooter needs a train level. That's just a fact of life. That looks like the Gray Fox. No, the Great Fox. Oh, it's like the Great Fox. It's kind of like a Great Fox and a Helicarrier combined. Yeah. You think we're ever going to make Helicarriers, or are we going to go... Do you even understand how much rocket fuel that would take? I feel like they're just not fuel efficient yeah, enough they are, for us to make. Don't seem practical at all. Oh yeah, Tanner, uh, you can get an achievement on this section. Uh, you're supposed to be stealthy and kill the little men flying around. Uh, take out the lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's your mission here. You should probably use a sniper for it, just so you know. I already got detected. Well, you already got detected, so... Uh, Never mind about that. Cool. The achievement was, uh, you're not that Sam. Referring to Sam Fisher. That's pretty clever. Yeah. That's pretty neat, man. Also, the monorail's about to explode. Yeah, I can't seem to... Do any... Do anything, uh, about this, I do really. believe you are supposed to use the snipers to take this out. Well... I guess I'll just let the monorail blow up and then, you know, try to start over. Oof. Look at that. That's what would have happened in that episode of The Simpsons about the monorail if Marge Simpson didn't stop it. Uh, sure. And that's a fact for you. So these lights? Oh, yep. I see. Attaboy. You just take them out one at a time. It's easy peasy. Every now and then there will be a little man who flies around near you. You just gotta kill him. Okay. Ain't too tough. This uh, should be a good little learning experience for you, Tanner. Are those lights nah. I have to worry about? Right. You're good on those. Will the man only be coming from up ahead of me? Uh, I do not recall. That, that was wrong. There you go. Only got a few shots left, Tanner, so uh, be careful here. Man. There we go. Don't you love it when the game slows down to a crawl for no reason? Oh, it's awesome, man. It makes me so happy. This really lets me take a second to acknowledge well, that. Well, I'm now empty. Always. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, look at that. There's more. I wouldn't recommend... Okay, there you go. Add boy. That's my little champ. Poof. Hey, Tanner, how do you feel if I adopted you? I'd be weirded out, especially because I'm an adult, so I don't think you can do can that. Can I adopt you? Let's find out. I don't think you can adopt people that are over 18. Well, we're gonna... Can I adopt an adult? Okay. Um, and the answer to that question, Tanner, if it will load, is that an adult adoption may occur once the potential adoptee reaches the age of 18 or older. <laughs> Look at that. So the answer is yes? Yeah. At that time, the only consent required is that of the adult wishing to be adopted. Oh. So Tanner, as long as you, uh, as long as you're okay with it, I can adopt oh, okay. you. <laughs> yeah, you gotta take that thing out. How do I? That seems difficult, Nico. I forget how you do it. I remember it being easier than I thought it would be, though. I think maybe you just have to shoot it. It's right behind you now. I think he just spotted you. Don't worry, I'll be good. Well. Uh oh. Well, that's no good. Alright, hey, so what do you say, Tanner? Uh, we can just really hammer out this adoption real quick. Uh. uh well, if you adopt me, does that mean my parents are no longer my parents? Uh, I mean, yeah, they are, just not legally speaking. 
Oh man, the thing activated those guys. Oof. You're so close to... That's the end right there. Hold on, if I can just blow up all the missiles as they come at me. Oh? Oh! Did it do it? We might be good. Well, I uh, think you've done it, Tanner. Cool. Oh, unless the ship comes back. Well, now that would just be lame if it did that. That would be pretty lame. Like, hey, if you're out there and you're piloting a ship and, like, you shoot at someone on a monorail, leave and then come back, that's pretty lame of you, okay? Yeah, finish the job, you coward. <laughs> You think, you think we program the monorail to go this slow, or is this just kind of how it do? Uh, that's just how it do. Oh wait, we're picking up a bit. Yeah, you just you gotta give it a little time, you know. We it's went. Getting, it's pretty old, so. We went from very beginning of uh, log ride speed to it's a small world speed. Tanner, have you ever been on it's a small world? Yeah, of course I have. I've been to Disneyland many a time. Ah, oh, that's good. How many times have you been to Disneyland, Nico? Uh, I've been to Disneyland three times. Oh, there's bombs. Yeah, there is. Well, there aren't really bombs yet. You gotta plant your bombs. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Eh. Well, my melee attack missed somehow. I mean, hey. If the melee attack missed, it ain't no thing, man. Ain't no thing. That ain't no thing. But chicken wing. Oh yeah, if, uh, if you wouldn't mind us getting to the Pokemon topic once more, Tanner. Oh, I wouldn't mind. Okay. Uh, I did find out something quite shocking. Yeah, what's that? So do you remember back in our Shaq Fu playthrough, in which I mentioned that the titular character Mallow from Pokemon S Sun she, Yeah, Moon. she's between 11 and 19. Yes. And then you smiled and said, that's how I like him. I, I didn't say that last part, Tanner. <laughs> that, uh, that part was not in the video, nor was it outside of the video. And then you looked me dead in the eyes and said, if it's on the clock, it gets... <laughs> well, Tanner, I found out something. Yeah, what'd you find um, out? Apparently she's not the only one like that. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm uh, not shocked. Apparently all of the female uh, trial captains in that game are like that. <laughs> All the female ones. Yes. Huh. Yup. I'm starting to think Nintendo knows what they're doing. <laughs> Including one of them, who very much so looks like a child. <laughs> so, I mean, hey. I'm not gonna judge Nintendo, you do you. But hey, how about B's feet, am I right? <laughs> No, Tanner, no. The, the Twitter comments, people are so excited about those feet, dude. <laughs> It's weird. Finally, we can confirm that Pokemon women have feet. We've wondered for so long, but this is just really... So you know how they have those it. products that, um, like foot shavers, basically? You, like, rub them on your feet, and they, they shave off dead skin? Yeah, I do know that, Tanner, I do. Why is there not Gamer Girl feet shavings? I can't even imagine Tanner. how much people would be willing to buy for pay for that. Please no. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can become like Bell Delphine's head of marketing and be like, "Hey, you should sell your foot shaving." <laughs> I don't know if you legally can, because that's 100% genetic material. But like, I'm sure I'm sure we can f find a way to to do There's it. There's probably a loophole somewhere in there. You think I'm far enough away? Yeah. Atta boy. Cool. Anyway, check out our merch store. We got Gamer Boy feet <laughs> shavings. You would be shocked at how little skin Nico's feet give up. Exactly. It's just too tight around there, man. Okay. I ain't got none of that flab. That's. Flab, flab has nothing to do with your skin. 
Oh, it absolutely does, Tanner. Got all that excess skin going on. Oh, uh, okay. Your organs just grow. Why is this know? in English? Ah, uh, cause you know they uh, they want it to be more touristy. Ah, uh, we've penetrated the inner sanctum. Is that ship just gonna be following us around now? No, it's just gonna blow you up now. Oh, unfortunate. Here it comes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and with that, we'll be seeing you on the next episode, y'all. Bye-bye. Bye.